going right into this. So as I talk about putting together a linebacker individual, okay, uh, the thought that I always have as I put together an individual, okay, whether it's in the off-season training camp and then into the season is uh, the drills that you do uh, have to be intentional and they have to be deliberate, okay, to help your players have success in the game. OK, uh, you can do a lot of drills, but what is uh, the correlation to game day success? OK, so as we start to talk here and we'll go through these drills, uh, there's kind of segmented here what the drills are. OK, and as we go through this, when I'm planning an individual, OK, every single day I want to do some sort of a footwork drill. I want to work a block destruction drill. I want to work a tackle drill. I want to work a turnover drill. I want to work some sort of a run footwork drill and then a pass footwork drill. Okay. So if you have, you know, 10 minutes of individual, okay, you got to be able to maybe incorporate more than one of those drills into each thing. And we'll we'll go through that here. So we'll get right into this with footwork drills. Okay. So here we're going through bags. Okay. And the first thing, you know, when I talk about a bag drill, and, and and I don't do these maybe every single day, but it's really just a quick, okay, warm up in the indie, but we're always going to work some sort of a linebacker technique. So we may get off the cut first, we may get off a block first, but here we are, we're going to get off a cut on this agile bag. And anytime I'm just stepping through agiles, I always want to have those agiles here, and you can kind of see it tilted downhill because as a linebacker we should always be running downhill so the first thing we're doing right here getting off the cut going through the bags and then finishing with a ball drill could be a scoop and score could be just an interception next thing now same drill but now we're going to start with i'm getting off a block so i'm in the block i work an arm over get downhill and now i finish with a cut it also follow that with a ball drill, okay? Now I'm going through the bags, and the element that we've added here is as I finish through the bags, I get square, change direction, and get off a cut. Get off a cut, downhill. Get off a cut, downhill. So here now, I get off a block, get off the cut, downhill, finish with a tackle. So what you can see here is there's a progression, okay, as you're going through this, where you're doing the same footwork drill, but you may not, you may only have, there may be a day you have eight minutes of individual, and there's just not enough time to get so many drills in. So you have to add different elements to one drill. So you're essentially working three different things, right, in one drill. Here's the next one. I like this one right here now. You can see the agile bags are level, okay? Agile bags are level, and I'm going over and back, and then through me. Over and back, through me, finish with a ball. Always finish, always finish with a ball or a tackle, okay? Shuffle, just a basic shuffle through, okay? Bend at the, bend with your knees, right? Keep your eyes up. All right, now let's look at this here. So this right here is a sprint first, back pedal second, okay? And what I want to talk about is that this back pedal right here, okay? The break foot, dry foot. And we're going to talk about this more when we get into the ball drills. This is something I really believe in here. I learned this from Coach Chuck Pagano when I worked for, for him in Chicago, and I just love this technique. So as the linebacker here is about to back, but is about to break, okay, you have a break foot and a dry foot. So if I'm breaking to my right, my break foot is my left foot, my dry foot's my right foot. My break foot has got to get up and down fast, okay? And it should be, 
when I say up and down fast, it should end up, if you're doing this on a line, and your foot should never leave the line. You, you say you don't put my foot in the bucket because I don't want my foot out here, right? If I'm going here, it should stop right there, okay? And then my drive foot should be pointed exactly where I want to go. So this is a really good shot of that here by Roquan. Break foot, drive foot. All right, now we get into ball drills, okay? Those were kind of our bag drills. Might do one of those a day, okay? Might, maybe, okay? Now you get into ball drills, okay? So the first one, and really, this is a good drill, but I really like this drill as an evaluation drill as well. If you're working a kid out, okay, you can really see how stiff they are, okay, because the goal here as I'm flipping is I stay on the line. You start having guys get off the line here, okay, that's a stiffness issue. And I'm coming right back down the line and finishing with a catch. Same deal, another really good one right here. Very similar drill, but now instead of breaking back down the line, you flip, run the other way. You can see it coming back right here. Okay, and finishing with a catch. All right, now we get into this one. Now we're opening 45 degrees, okay? Open into this line. The player is going to flip on his own gain depth, and come right back down the line. Flip on your own, get to the line, come straight back down. 45, flip, come straight back down. All right, now this drill here, okay, I'm going to open up the same way at a 45, okay? As I get to this line, okay, now I'm going to plant and break lateral, like I'm breaking on a ball. Bam, lateral. Okay, same start. Now I'm plant and coming straight down the line. Okay, and then finally, break foot, dry foot, which we've already talked about in the bag drills, okay? And what you'd like to have happen here, and Roe gets his foot a little bit off that line, okay? But this foot, we just never want that foot to leave the line, okay? As he creates that T-step, okay? That's that break foot, drive foot. But what's really good right here is watch that drive foot. Watch this foot right here, okay? That foot is going to be pointed and going directly where he wants to go. Really pretty good right here by Kevin. Nice job. This is this is like, this is a really good one, okay? Watch where his foot ends up here on the line when he breaks. That's like one inch. That's a really good job. You talk about fast, efficient movements where now I'm breaking to go make a tackle or intercept the pass. Really good job, okay? So those are kind of the footwork drills, okay? I'd like to do one, maybe one of each, right? One bag drill, one ball drill. Okay, you have, so let's say you have six linebackers. You should be able to do a bag drill and a ball drill in two to three minutes, okay? So if you have a 10-minute indie, a 15-minute indie, there's your first two to three minutes right there is a bag drill and a ball drill. 